transformations are divided into two types. We call them as active transformation and passive transformation. So when we call them as active, when we call them as uh, passive, so active is nothing but your number of input records, number of input records not matching with number of output records. Okay. Whenever this situation happens, you call the transformation as active transformation. And when you call it as a passive transformation, when both are matching, okay, number of input records matching with number of output records, then you call that particular transformation as passive transformation. Simple, okay. Now you are passing around 10 records into your transformation. From that particular transformation, if you are getting for example, you are getting only five records or for example, you are getting around 15 records or 20 records. Then number of input records are not matching with number of output records, right? At that time, you call that as an active transformation. Okay. So now we have different, different. Yeah. Tell me. Clear, right? Yeah. Yeah. So here we have different, different transformations, right? So let's go and see which one we call it as active transformation, which one we call it as passive transformation okay for example if you take update strategy so is it an active transformation or passive transformation update it's a number of input reports matching the number it's an active transformation how you are saying like it is an active transformation because in update strategy, uh, in update strategy, we are just marking the record insert. size. Yeah, we are just marking the record size, update or insert or delete. But, but are we, we are inserting yes. new, we are inserting new. Now oh, that insertion and everything is different, but how many records are coming into your update strategy? Those many number of records will go out of that update strategy. Then only it will be decided Okay, whether I have to go and insert it into insert table or update table, right? So, so you call in that as, case every transformation is a uh, yeah. I'll tell you passive I'll, transformation. Yeah, I'll give you an example. For example, filter is there. So filter is an active transformation. Why it is an active transformation? Because it will you it will give multiple targets. No, you will filter the data. Forget about targets. Okay, here target is also one of the transformations. So forget about. Uh, Store sign target. Okay. Don't focus on any of the other transformation. Just focus on whatever the transformation we are discussing. So in filter, for example, you are passing 100 records. Is there any chance like you will get only few records out of your filter? For example, I am getting the data for all departments. Now I want to consume the data for only one department. What I will do? I'll go and add a condition. Okay, department name equal to HR or department name equal to document control, right? Yeah. So now from my source, I'm getting how many records I'm getting in our employee example, we are getting around 296 records. For HR, for example, we have around 10 records. Then how many records will come out of that filter? How many records will come out of that filter? 10 records will come out. Only 10 records will come. But how many records are coming as an input to that particular transformation? Input is also 10 records. Sir. No, input is not 10 records, right? So input, for example, here you are having this filter transformation. How many records will, will come from here? From source, in your employee file, you have 296 records, right? So how many records yeah. will be an input for this transformation? From here, you are passing the data to here. Yeah. How many records are coming from here? Those many number of records will go here? No, only the selected ones, whatever we require. Out, no. Uh, as an output, you will go, you will get only those 10 records. But as an yeah. input, you will get all the records, right? 
296 records yeah. because if once you get all the records then only you will be able to filter right how can you assume like you are getting only 10 records to here if you are getting 10 records here itself as an input what is the point of this transformation you can directly link it here na yes right so we need only the, like whatever we need to transform the those records only will take from the yeah table. so here here your filtering is getting applied you will get all the records and then you will apply filter so what is happening for as an input you are getting 296 records as an output you are getting only 10 records so what is happening your input number of input records are not matching with number of output records right yes that's why you are, you call it as an active transformation clear yeah so expression is an active transformation or passive transformation expression is in uh, passive transformation yes because there is no way you can reduce the number of records or increase the number of records yeah. because how many are coming you will you, you will be able to apply some logic or you will be able to add some ports but you are not increasing the number of records right so that's the reason you call it as a passive transformation what is an aggregator transformation is it an active or passive transformation uh, it's an uh, active transformation. Yes, correct. Why aggregator is an active transformation? Because you are grouping because the data. Because we use maximum, minimum. Yeah, for maximum, minimum. At the time out of the data, you will get only one record out of it. But you will, as an input, you will have 100 records or any number of records you can have. But output number of records, there is a chance to reduce the number of records. Correct? That's the reason yeah. it is an active transformation. Sequence generator is an active transformation or passive transformation? It is a passive transformation because it will just give sequence of numbering. Okay. It will just numbering to each and every record, but it won't do anything. How many records are coming? Everything will go out and it will just do give the numbering to that. Okay. Yeah. So, so join us. Yes. Number of okay. Yeah. What is our, a router is an active transformation or passive transformation? Router is also an active transformation. Yes, because indirectly you are applying filters in the router. All right. Yeah. There is a chance like number of reports will increase or decrease. Okay. So what are the other joiner transformation is an active transformation or passive transformation? And that is a act, active transformation. Active transformation because in case of because inner join, the, yeah, in yeah. case of inner join, there is a chance of less number of records are coming. Rank transformation is an active transformation or passive transformation. For ranking, what you will do, you can select one, bottom, two, three. one top. Yeah, that two, is also top active three. transformation. It's an active transformation because all records will come to your target and only few records will come out of your, uh, sorry, all records will come to your rank and few records will come out of your rank transformation. Right. So sorter is an active transformation or passive transformation. That is also an active transformation. Yes. Why? Because there is an option to select a distinct. When you do distinct, what will happen? For example, in case of any duplicate records, it will remove those duplicate records. It will give only few records. For example, out yes. of them, you have around three duplicates, then it will give only seven records. Correct? Yes. So normalizer is an active transformation or passive transformation. Normalizer. It's a passive transformation. So it's an active transformation because number of records will increase. If you remember, you are having marks for each subject. So that subject is coming as a record for you. Right? What yes. is a normalizer transformation, if you remember correctly? I think you forgot about normalizer, right? Yes, so, yes. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't so, remember. Now. Yeah, you are doing unpivoting. So what will happen? This data will come as a this data will come as a yeah. it will come as a record. It will come as a record. All right. 
so there you will have it it is training we are going here right let me open that normalizer for you so that you will be very clear normalizer is there right so where we have normalizer yeah this one so if you see here this data is getting converted to this data got it right because yeah yeah in the yes. mathematics was converted to rows. So number of input yes. records are two, number of output records are around, you have 10, all right? Ten. Yeah, number it's of taking output, every record, yeah. Uh, I that's the reason you will call it as an active transformation. It is simple, you need not to worry. Just you have to think what exactly the transformation will do. Then you will be able to understand whether it is an active transformation or passive transformation. Clear? Yeah. So union is an active transformation or passive transformation? Union. union is also an active transformation. Yes. Okay. And what else we have? Lookup is an active transformation or passive transformation? It is an all, it is also an active transformation. Active. What we are saying it is an active transformation is there is an option to select all the values out of the lookup, not only matching values. You can, uh, for example, if it is matching with hundred values, you will you there is an option to consider all hundred values instead of one out of it, or you can consider use any row, use first value, use last value. Okay. Yeah. So you then union actually. Actually, union. Yes. Can be, Tell me, it should be passive or active? Uh, yeah, because it will records will not change. Passive. Yes, correct. Right. Um, so it will come. How many? It all the records will come from your all the sources, right? It, all, yes. It, only those records will come out of it. Yes. Right. Yeah. So that's the reason you call it as a passive. I I just thought of telling it at the end to give you clarity, okay? That's all, okay. just you should not think like, okay, I'm writing here, you should not think like it is an active transformation, okay? Okay, so not union, think, will, uh, it, yeah. it, it will come under only passive, not active then? It is passive because all the records will, whatever is coming, you will pass all the records as an output. Yeah. Right, because in your union transformation, what will happen? The, all these records as an input, right? Yes. All these records as an input. How many number of records are coming into input? Only those will come out of it. Yes. Nothing will, it, it will not reduce or it will not increase. There is no change. There is no change. Okay. So this is about active transformation and passive transformation. You are clear? Yeah. 